What do you mean the day they bury the devil at sea? That's the day the devil bury the devil at sea. What? <laughs> is, that, is that Osama bin Laden or is that somebody else? Or are you no, just that's, talking? That's oh, just okay. us talking here. Oh. What's so going yeah, on, if you guys brother? want to be on our level, like take acid and like pause this for half an hour. What's going on, Doug? Nothing. Eddie Brock was in the house, right. fresh from fucking jumping jacks and putting videos up and burying <laughs> bolo motherfuckers and shit, <laughs> going viral online. They don't know that you still got it. They think you're over here getting weak in the fucking bush or something like that. They don't know that you're over here getting stronger by the fucking day out of here. They're just learning the rubber guard. You've taken it up to t three fucking levels since then. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You don't know who the fuck you're going to tell. Who are you going to tell? <laughs> yeah. Who are you going to fucking tell craziness like that? I was on the phone with Rogan the other day talking about coke and shit. And I was talking about <laughs> when I used to put fucking pool cleaner on my dick. What? When I was in the halfway house, I'd Why? snort coke because I'd snort coke Friday and Saturday and I wasn't going to beat the test. So I'm uncircumcised. So I'd take pool cleaner and I'd put it on the inside of my dick and I'd fucking put the skin over it. And then when I'd go pee, I'd pull the skin back and the pool cleaner would go into the fucking t piss test and I'd still come back positive. <laughs> like, who do you tell this to that's going to say, Joey, what the you can't tell that to a therapist. They'll dial, they'll dial, they'll dial 911 on you, though. I remember doing something to my dick. One what? time, putting something on my dick. I don't know if it's <laughs> pool cleaner or like that shit you unclog a drain with. Drano? Drano. Yeah. And I'll never forget, I was working construction, Eddie, and it was hot out. And I went into one of those plastic bathrooms. You know those things that you piss out, hot porta potty? Yeah. And I took my dick out, and it was just blistered. Like it was one big blister. Like I could bail what? out. It was pissing out of like three holes. Uh, I swear to fuck. Did you put Drano on it? <laughs> I put Drano. That's what I would do to pass a fucking urine test. What does it look like now? Huh? Is it back to normal? I don't know. I'll let you sniff it later. <laughs> <laughs> you tell me, cocksucker. <laughs> oh, my God. What's up, Eddie Bravo? Look at you. He's fucking... <laughs> He just throws a giggle and goes right back. What's happening? <laughs> Everything's just hanging out. All right. I'm happy you're here. You, so people know that uh, uh, what you guys uh, did. Yeah, that we did. I didn't say we had to do it. Oh, I come just, on. Oh, here we go. At least admit that you make people do it. I don't make nobody do it. Then nobody's got a gun to their fucking head. I said, Ari. This is right. Wait, I didn't it was do Sunday it. night. I didn't he goes, do it. nothing. I go, let's do a hit of fucking ass. <laughs> I was like, yeah, okay. And let's I just said sure. nothing. What the fuck? It's this just, what it's we do. fun, though. You guys feeling it now or what? A little it's bit. To, it took a little while last time. You how, know. How, how, I took it at Billy a Joel at Bonnaroo. I don't know. We're going to find out. We're going to just run the fuck out of here. There might come a point where I can't take it. I just run yeah. the fuck out of here. There was a point yeah. in my living room Monday night, Tuesday night. Yeah, that was I was, was pretty fucked up. Really? Oh, I was pretty you fucked ready up. ready to call it? Like no. I've never been able to, never been able to ready to call a tap out. Never. Oh, my never, God. Never, ever, ever. I used to, bro, I used to. When I was about 17, I'd go back to the house where I lived, the Benders. And I'd go to the bathroom, I'd take my shirt off, and I'd be on fire from the acid. There's a point, like the third or the fourth hour, where you're seeing shit, whether you got the lights on or not. You go to pee and your piss is pale. <laughs> Everything is tripping with you, but you're like, I'm coming down off this shit. Nothing's happening. What? That's what happens. And then you walk into the living room and it's dark and you start seeing fucking shadows and you're tripping your ass. Started cleaning his apartment. I cleaned my entire apartment the next day. Whoa. He played fucking Maple. He made, oh what's God. the name? Ma 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 Hazel, whatever her fucking name but is. I think what's it wrong has... with you, Eddie, bro? Were you a deaf mute all of a sudden? What happened? No, I'm enjoying the conversation. Right. I can't believe I'm sitting here with three dudes who are tripping. What? <laughs> well, we haven't started yet. It's going to start pretty I know. Soon. It's going to start. But I'm it... looking forward to it. All three of you. What's that going to be like? I might have to take over the show. I'm here for the remainder. I'm here till 2, 3 a.m. We're going to okay, start taking okay. calls, everything, whatever. <laughs> you take calls, really? We'll take them. What the fuck? If we're tripping. <laughs> they might want to talk to Ari about something. But you told me I was going to be up till like, 8 in the morning. So, like, you, you know. You might be. Oh, I'm probably not going to make my comedy source, but. When, tonight? <laughs> yeah. No, you're in no danger. I might as well call them now and say it ain't happening. Uncle Joey gave me a hit of this fucking well, it's got rat poison in it. So, it just fucking lifts your spirits. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> I rap point to that shit. Is it really rap poison? Yeah, it's strychnine. What? Read the label. Read the, the label. label on acid. <laughs> God, I dare you. Read the label. I'll give you a piece right now. I'll give you I'll give you five dollars. You can find strychnine on there. Oh my god. It's gonna get ugly in here. You do know that, right? It's gonna get fucking ugly in here. The only thing that takes you like this, your mind is like this, is like solitary confinement. 
Like if I can find you for nine days with just food, no fucking talking, guess where your mind goes? Your mind goes in weird places, man. Your mind goes somewhere it's never been before. It's like fucking acid. That's why I love this shit. Takes you deep into the murky waters of the underworld. You ever listen to music on acid? You can just hear the cymbals playing. Tremendous. This is what they invented this shit. We went to see Apocalypse Now. We left there blown up away, but it had just rained, Eddie. So me, this kid that got shot, this other kid, Louis Castellito, we got like a three-quarter of a mile walk home. And we're walking home, and for some reason, Louis Castellito looks at me weird, and he goes, do you hear that? And I play into it. I go, I hear that. Do you hear that? And also, I'm like, oh, my God, I hear that. I hear that, too. And the kid's looking at the both of us like we're fucking crazy, but we're all tripping. And we start going, Jesus Christ, the sirens, what the fuck? And my friend's yelling, the sirens, the sirens, and we're both yelling, the fucking sirens. All of a sudden, my buddy looks at me, and he just takes off, bro, and starts running. What? And like a, a half a block away, there's a, a, what's that when the concrete breaks a pothole? Yeah. It was filled with rainwater. Oh, no. And then I forgot, he stopped, he got in his hands and knees, and he started oh, hitting himself no. with rainwater. I don't hear the sirens. I don't hear the <laughs> sirens. We were just fucking with him. Uh, we, didn't, we didn't hear no fucking sirens. <laughs> <laughs> you hear sirens? Not Wait. yet. He kept, he kept saying there were rats in the, in the trees by his house. There are rats in the trees. <laughs> you see them and shit when you do acid <laughs> show. Like They're that. big. What's that? The big of squirrels. And my wife, <laughs> listen to me. You're already done that life. Listen yeah. to me. My wife was pregnant at the time. I would, oh come, home, I would come home Fridays at 6. <laughs> Wait, you had a pregnant like, wife? I, I Coming home from what? Listen to me in the halfway house. In the halfway house? house. <laughs> <'Cause> <laughs> listen, listen to me. <laughs> Did he miss it already? I'd fucking come home on Fridays. I'd eat dinner with her like a normal family. She'd go to bed pregnant about 9 o'clock. I'd get the itch in my neck. I'd make the call. A guy would You'd deliver an eight ball. I'd put a leash on the dog and make believe I was taking the dog for a walk and I got like a 12 pack of cores and I'd hide each can in the fucking snow you know how we do it dog I'd hide each can in the fucking snow you know what I'd go to the okay. liquor store and I'd buy 12 cans of cores okay and you I'd come back and I'd take each can out of the wrapper and put them into the snow okay on this side so I knew I had drank them already right yeah I'd do a couple bumps and I'd go back in the house and she'd fall asleep I'd do two or three lines, I'd watch a porno, and I'd let the dog out to pee. And then I'd take a beer, crack it open, and drink it real fast. And hide the beer. I would do this all night. I would get so thirsty, I would have to let the dog out to pee. You know what it is? When you're ninth beer, when you're paranoid as fuck, and you want to... Dog, you have no idea what it's like to open up your front door. You have no idea what paranoia is. You think this, the DEA is waiting on the other end. Oh. I remember one, one weekend, I, I did so much coke, I wouldn't even let the dog out to pee. He sat by the door. You could see the pee dripping out of his fucking ears before I opened up that door. Two days, I didn't open up that fucking door. What? Two days Good in dog. Aspen. He finally peed in the hallway. He broke down, and he shit, and I had to pick it up the next day. But I wouldn't open that door. I was so fucking paranoid. Really? Yeah. You left him out there? You left your dog out there? No, no. I let him back in the house. Yeah, but yeah. then there was one point I wasn't opening up the door no more. Either you're in or you're out, cocksucker. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And once you go out, there ain't no coming back in. So get back in because you're going to drive me crazy all fucking night. <laughs> Check your bottle caps. <laughs> you thought Cosby went to work. Check your bottle caps. <laughs> Look at Eddie looking at his border. What are you talking about? <laughs> I can't teach an armbar when I'm Yes, you can, cocksucker. Oh, my God. What's the matter, dog? Look at the shape of you. <laughs> Your head's purple. You got blotches. You got to sit up straight. I'm this fine. Is Nobody wants to chitter chatter. That's it. You want to go yeah. outside and stand outside and get some air and periscope it and look at people on the street? No. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck that. Let's go look at people on the street. We stand out there long enough, we might see a hooker. Oh. Like a white hooker walk by. Really? They got hookers hooker? out here? Up deep. They 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 walk She deep. finally <laughs> gave up on me. And one night me, Steve Simone are eating at that fucking uh, yeah, like, okay, okay. She it. just passed. She knew I was gonna leave her out there. I used to slate her the whole time. I was just tormenting her like Bobby Slate. <laughs> I'll be out there in twenty five minutes. I'll be out there in 25 minutes. Wait by the statue. <laughs> Dog, I used to torment Bobby Slayton. It was the best work Let's I ever did. Let's call him up. We can't call him up, bro. Because now he knows What'd I don't do? get high. Huh? What'd you do? I would fucking, like, he'd call me, give me 200 bucks, and he'd say, put the coke under the statue. And I'd put, like, 
the statue with nothing under it, like an empty envelope. I just fuck with him. <laughs> he called me. What happened to it? I don't know. I left it there. Yeah, there's an envelope, but it's empty. I don't know what the fuck to tell you. <laughs> <laughs> I was left there. Don't say this to me. Maybe my kid stole it. Maybe your kid stole it. I don't fucking know. Go check with him. Call me back. I ain't got time for this shit. I would torment him. And then I learned what cities he was in. Okay, and I would call him up on Thursday night, and I'd go, you got anything? Do you need anything? And he'd go, why? You got a connection? Yeah. I know, I know big people. I didn't know nobody, Eddie. I knew nobody. Like, he'd be like an in Indiana. <laughs> right? He'd be like... <laughs> so he thinks he's getting drugs? He's just waiting. He's waiting for it. He's like, oh, oh my finally. God. And How I, long before he just... <laughs> two years until he finally one day realized I wasn't coming through. I worked with him once, Bobby Slayton, in Montreal. The whole time, he kept going, like, Ari, has Ari been ducking out early? <laughs> <laughs> he, was, he was doing blow. That's why he ducks out early. So you got to watch him. He, he's got it all. Oh, my God. He left it for both of you guys. <laughs> Here we go, people. Uh, uh, it's starting uh, right now. Yo, here we go now. Uh, hit it, Joey. <laughs> I just pulled fucking... you back in. Just pulled you back in. Heavy. The chorus is strong as fuck. Turn the light off. Here we go. Turn this fuck. Crank that shit. Hey, hey. Pilot the bombardier. Oh, oh, Pilot oh, the bombardier. Oh, oh shit. Hit it, Joe. Who are you texting, Lisa? I'm periscope. You're periscoping? Who the fuck are you periscoping, cocksucker? Ha <laughs> <laughs> uh. Who's better than you, huh? Ah. Uh. Want to eat another star of death? What'd you do with that yeah. half a hitter? Sid. Oh, ah. I'm gonna give some shout outs. Keep the music playing, cocksuckers. Oh shit. Michael Marcy, Sierra Realty, Tommy P, David Martinez, Nick Manzarella, Dola, whatever your fucking name is, my main man, Matt Baltazar, Leo Costa, Dennis Pearson over there in Boston, the girl one to shake those titties, water boxer. And my main man, Jordan Lee, who came out for the fucking This Is Not Happening Again. Here we go, Ari ah. Shapir. The time oh. to see the devil, cocksucker. <laughs> oh, yeah. Here we go. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. <laughs> you bad motherfucker. Columbus Day. I don't know what the fuck's going on here. Oh. Nice. Oh my God. Put the light back on. You were all right. Oh, my God. A Metallica moment. That was a nice Metallica <laughs> moment. What do you think? Would she order cheeseburgers? Sure. <laughs> How many cheeseburgers could you eat right now, Lisa? I don't know. Half of what? <laughs> no, no, no. I'm good, man. I'm good. Thank you, though. Appreciate it. My fucking ear swelling is going down a little bit. Where's your ear swelling from? The pool? I fucking told you from jumping. It's even really? hot right now. It's fucking on fire. Really? Last night I took one of those four-year-old Vikings and I fell asleep like a baby. Tonight, God, what are you eating over there, Lee? <laughs> you still eating that fucking salamander? Uh-huh. It's not even whether or not he wants to go down with it. 
don't try to spit it back. We don't give a thing. fuck no more. <laughs> oh my God. Lee's a soldier. I don't have a choice. It Lee's just a, takes the choices. arguments away. What do you think this is? Communist Castro here? You yeah, got choices. Yeah, bro, it takes like 30 minutes if I wanted to say no, and then I feel bad, and then they go on Twitter. What do you say? You, you just, it's he just said easier to take more more stars. <laughs> he said give more stars. That's what he said. <laughs> Where's ground control to Major Tom? What happened? Ground control. To what happened to Major? What happened to Major Tom? Lenny Kravitz once said that he doesn't, or was it? No, I think it was Seal. Seal said he doesn't want people. He doesn't want to explain. <laughs> Seal. Hey, Seal's a talented motherfucker. <laughs> Fuck on. Seal. Come on, Seal. Talented. Fuck Seal. Come on. Lenny <laughs> Kravitz, I would have listened to him. Hey, Fuck Seal. Seal just one his song. ass off. He had some good shit. Crazy. Wait, song Seal. crazy. Oh, yeah. Crazy. The one that's so annoying. Yeah, Come but he sings it to everybody. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I'm sorry. The Batman song. The Batman song. He's still showing up. So messed up the song on Alan. The Batman song sucked. But on that album, that was good shit. He had some good fucking shit. For pop, I'd way, I'd way rather listen to Seal, first two Seal albums than like the shit that's out now. You know, like when, like. Did you get this from fucking Doctor yet? They want you to shit in an envelope? <laughs> <laughs> Did you get this from Sag yet, Eddie Bravo? This one, you know you got problems. Why did you bring this into the office? Because I just remembered. This is what I got to do with my life. This is what my it's life is. Where he puts his gummies. What's up, Eddie Bravo? We can take a pause. We can pause it and go. What pause? There's no pauses yeah, in real life. What are you doing? There's no pauses in real life. There's no pauses in real life. We ain't fucking around here. We ain't editing podcasts. No, I thought you to smoke a joint. <laughs> we'll smoke it. We'll figure it out. We'll go out there and do That's it. That's a t shirt right there. Communist. What's up? You want another piece of this shit or what? No. You good? Yes. Oh my god, look at the shape of Ari. Holy mm. shit. It was really strong. Huh? It's strong as fuck. Let's periscope this shit, Ari. Me. No, I'm just having a good time. Me too, me too. Oh my god. I don't even want to look at my eyeballs. I'm scared. I don't want to talk to nobody. I just want to sit here and look around the room. Any problem? I'm happy you came down for it. Hey, anytime. I love it, man. And, uh, you know, I just want to tell you that uh, most <laughs> most of the Tenth Planet Association worships you. They love you. Oh, I love the them too. The 10WL, everybody on the 10WL loves you. I love and them too. I love everything. There's, there's got to be Tenth Planet fans still showing up to all your All shows. the shows. All of them, right? All the shows. Yeah, you see a Tenth sure. Planet shirt and it does something to you. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> You have to watch this from the beginning. What is that monkey thing? <laughs> I don't fucking know what it is. <laughs> oh, my God. God. Oh. oh, God, 20 seconds. <laughs> oh. Oh. Okay. It's like some kind of monkey thing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. That's <laughs> so weird. No, he's... He's Only like Duncan so would fucking he's find like out. He's like a Ukrainian man in his... Oh, he's naked. Text number. Text Duncan. Joey, look at the camera. What's up, cocksuckers? You guys should stare at your money. That's another thing I like to do when I'm... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? You should have came down here, I'm telling you. Right now, you would have you would have been the ringleader of this fucking acid trip here. You stared at dollar bill. It's so weird. All right, who's got a dollar bill? Let's put it to a test. I got no dollar bills. I know Lee's got a dollar bill. Do you have to turn the lights off or say some hymns or anything? No, just look at it. All right. Look at it with the veil of conditioning lifted. It's fucking weird. I mean, I would stare. I would do. I remember doing that once. Me and my friend actually like burnt money once, like old school hippies. Really? Just because we're we were staring at it and it seemed so. Um, I don't know, just so malevolent. You know me, though. Yeah, to burn money. It's so fucking bad. Yeah, it's like the ultimate blasphemy, but it's meaningless because it's just a rectangle of paper. But it's when you're doing it, you're, it's, it's literally it's illegal, too, I think. But when you're doing it, it's really, it's really fascinating to notice how your brain reacts to just burning paper. What's going on, Lee? You starting to see elephants? Sure. You ready to smoke another number? Is that all coming down? Huh? That'll calm it down? Sure, that'll calm the dragon down for a little while. He's going to show up at your door breathing again in two hours. What's up, Ari? Everybody's depressed and everybody's pooped out. That's it? No, I'm all right. <laughs> you got any new moves and stuff? New moves? Yeah. 
Ooh. And you show oh, Lee a move tonight. Show Lee. What's like the what's like the Your what, biggest? How far is it gone now? It's always evolving, right? Yeah. It's always changing. It's just like asking a comedian, do you have new material? What, what are the What are the trends that now? Like, we got into leg locks. Uh, heavy. Really? Tenth Planet has always been leg lock friendly. I just didn't want to be heavy on heel hooks. Like that's our main goal is to fuck you up with legs. I yeah. never wanted to go that route because in MMA, easy. in MMA, it, it's risky. In MMA, it's great when there's no punches. It's but the awesome. one I loved the most was the lawnmower ones. Nobody ever had a lawnmower motorcycle. Lawnmower motorcycle. It's a it's lawnmower basic, engine. Yeah, yes. those Mexicans little mini bikes. invented the fucking yeah, those thing. Yeah, mini bikes. Yeah. Mexicans invented the lawnmower mini bike. Where you going? Oh. Where the fuck you going? <laughs> I just want to go down on the ground for a minute. No, no, no. no you way. can't lay down. You can't lay down. Gonna, I, I can give you a different mic. Yeah, give me a different mic. Go ahead, but no, keep no, talking no, about the long bar. You know what's crazy about my moped that still haunts me in my, my nightmares? I swear, this it haunts <laughs> wait, me. Wait, Eddie, Eddie I can already just switch. My, huh? Just switch seats. No, no, you can't. Right. Who's gonna fuck the switch seat tonight? He's on the floor. <laughs> what do you think this is musical fucking else? games. So you know, on, on a moped, there's no gas uh, uh, reader. What do you call it? Gas odometers. You just have to kind of guess because you have to mix. <laughs> you have to. You have to make the gas. You, you, you have take to this mix moped. It with gas, with you oil. have to mix it. Yeah, it's a weird fuck moped. That. No, I'm telling you. So you had to guess. I had to keep track of the miles. You have to pedal and shit. Dude, if you run out of gas, it, there's a. It's like a bike. What? It, Yes, mopeds were b- half bike, bike. half you motorcycle. Have legs of strength. The, the fuck dude, you, dude, no, you, no, no, have to, no. you have to do this to go like. It wasn't worth the aggravation. You barely go an inch long. Uh-huh. That was like the terrible. biggest fucking farce the Americans had. It always ran out of fucking uh, oil. You had to make yeah. oil. So I dream, I dream that I'm in, on my moped and I'm like, fuck. I don't know when the last time I, I. <laughs> I, I don't know if I'm gonna run out of gas. It's been so long, I can't remember when I put fuel in it last. And I have these nights. Have a dream. And then, yeah, and then I wake up. Whoa. Always stressful dreams. I'm on my Whoa. moped, and I don't, I can't remember. But what? but that's one of those dreams that, that if if <laughs> there was a gas odometer and that wasn't stressful, maybe that would have been a good dream. About dude, I had a great dream. I was on my moped. I was 15. But since there was that drama there, maybe that's what fucked up the good dream. Because now I got all stressed out about it, right? But if I didn't get stressed out about it, maybe I would just have a cool moped dream. All right. Does that make sense? Yeah, a little bit. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 If it's 2 in the afternoon and you ain't high, go fuck yourself. Get out of my face. I want you around me like I want cancer in my ball sack. You know what I'm saying? You're going to come around here looking at me with your fucking white eyes. Thinking that you know I'm gonna re- I'm gonna reform. Go fuck yourself. My morning starts at 5:30 a.m. Either you're there or you're square. You know what I'm saying?